Well, we're here with Alice Olson on the occasion of your 99th birthday. Happy birthday, Alice. Thank you. So, how, uh, what are you feeling today, 99 years old? Yeah, 99. How do you feel? The same as I did last year. <laughs> what did you do today on your birthday? What did I do? Uh, I had a bunch of people dropped in and just visiting. And did you have a birthday cake? Yeah, I had a good day. Were there 99 candles on? Uh, we didn't have candles on the cake. We had uh, carrot cake. Uh, cheesecake and uh, chocolate cake. And so, when you were a young girl, did you ever think you'd get to 99 years old? No, I didn't. None of my siblings ever got that old. Is that right? So you're the oldest in your family? I've got a lot of, I had a lot of relations in the States that was 100, 300, 500 years old before they passed. Wow, so you've got you've got good genes. Must have. What, uh, what did you get for birthday gifts today? Mostly scratch tickets. <laughs> and I've got oodles of those. <laughs> so if you want a big uh, a big jackpot in the scratch, what would you do with it? Uh, money? Oh, I'd find something to do with it. I have no idea yet. I've talked to you before and I've asked you about uh, how it is to be 98, for example. You're turning 100 next year. What do you think of that? Well, if I make it to 100, it'll be lucky. <laughs> but my health is good. So chances are I will make it. Okay, so this is the question that everyone asks, somebody who's older. What's the secret to living to 99 or 100 years old? I have no idea <laughs> what it, what's, what caused me to be so old. Do you, do you think you've lived a healthy life? I think so. I never drank and I never smoked. Well, I did have a few drinks, but I drank, uh, smoked one cigarette in my life and I hated the taste of it. I wouldn't smoke anymore. I want that note. And how many uh, children and grandchildren and great grandchildren do you have? <laughs> uh, I think I've got about 20 grandchildren, 20 to 22, I forget now. And great great grandchildren, I've got about well, probably 24. And then the great greats comes in. And well, I think I've only got about eight of them. I've got a set of twin boys. Were you were you born in Canada? Yeah, I was born in Sunny Nook, Alberta. And were your parents uh, born here, or did they come from uh, another country? The States. Dad was born somewhere in Kansas, and Mother was born in Minnesota. And how long have you lived in Valemount? Since 56. Wow, that's uh, uh, 60, 66 years? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You sure seen this town grow? Yeah, did I ever? Because when I moved here, there was no streets in town. There were very few. Well, you could almost count all the houses on your one hand. There wasn't very many. Nah. So, you're hopefully going to be blessed to see a hundred years. Do you have something in mind that you'd like to do special for your hundredth birthday? Hey. Do you have something special in mind that you'd like to do for your 100th birthday? Probably just gather with the friends and family and otherwise I won't do too much of anything. <laughs> Come on, Hyam. 
Thank you. Dear Alice, let me begin by saying how very sorry I am that I cannot join you in this very special birthday celebration. I want to say how much I have enjoyed celebrating with you on your birthday before the pandemic, and I am so very glad that this year you will be able to have the in-person celebration that you so richly deserve. Your birthday is a very significant milestone, and I hope that you will have a fantastic day and a happy, healthy year ahead. Most importantly, thank you for your service to our country. We are very grateful that because of Canadians like you, we are able to enjoy the life we have in our country. Please be well and know that I am thinking of you and joining your family, friends, and community in wishing you a happy 99th birthday. Sincerely, Shirley Bond. Well, I want to wish you a very, very happy 99th birthday, and it's uh, wonderful that everybody is here to uh, to help celebrate with you. Yeah, thank you. Uh -huh. 